back here in the multiverse. As you can tell, I am a little under the weather, but that is not going to stop me from going over WWE's ringside exclusive New World Order Hollywood Hulk Hogan shipping out from ringside collectibles now. I literally just received mine, uh, unboxed it, and here it is. So we're going to take a look at this thing uh, right now. This is as real time as it gets. I literally just walked outside and uh, there he was. You know, not obviously not like this, but uh, he was in a box outside by my door, so picked it up, uh, and here they are. So we're gonna get the first crack at what this Hollywood Hulk Hogan ringside exclusive looks like. And as you can see, this is the red and black Wolfpack Hollywood Hogan. Uh, this is after the, um, I guess you can call it a war, you know, between Hollywood black and white and Hollywood um, and uh, red and black. NWO. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, you can tell I'm sick. I'm <laughs> even confusing the two factions. Um, but they ended up becoming what they call the NWO elite afterwards when they ditched out a couple members. Uh, member Hogan and Nash had that feud. Not even a feud. It was a finger poke of doom. I mean, I wouldn't call that a feud. Where Hogan eventually got the belt back. And actually, they go over that right here on the back of the card right here. In 1998, the NWO fractured into Hollywood Hogan's black and white. The red and black wolf pack led by Kevin Nash. The two halves warred with each other until the first Nitro of the new year. That night, Hogan challenged Nash for his WCW championship. The two met nose to nose in the middle of the ring. Hogan poked Nash in the chest. The big man crashed to the mat. The infamous finger poke of doom signaled the reunion of the NWO elite, led by the new champion, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. There he is with that red spray-painted NWO belt, his red and black shirt. Very short-lived faction. Uh, NWO, my, my all-time favorite faction, but uh, the NWO elite, I believe this was Hall, Nash, Hogan, Lex, Steiner, and Buff, if I'm correct. Um, but yeah, that's what this Hogan is, is re resembling. You can see in the card here, he's got the, uh, the belt there. He comes with swappable NWO hands here, throwing up the two sweet signal. Uh, he's got his bandana, his trademark bandana. It looks like a cloth good shirt. He's got the weight belt, um, sunglasses, NWO white boots there. We're gonna crack this baby open. We're gonna see what it looks like uh, inside the packaging. So here we go. All right, there he is out of the pack. And uh, first thing I noticed when you take him out, um, he's got this cool trifold uh, cardboard cut out of the Monday Nitro uh, stage. So um, you can use that to put behind the figs if you you know if you were if you're into these things. There's a few of these exclusives that came with something like this. I believe the Cactus Jack came with it. Came with an ECW one. Um, so this is pretty cool. This is a nice little addition, especially if you were a WCW fan coming up like I was. So that's pretty neat. But looking at the figure, uh, I will tell you this. This was one of the more complicated figures that I had to try to pull out of that plastic. I don't know why, but uh, take that for what it's worth. Um, he comes with, like I said before, he comes with the NWO spray-painted red WCW World Heavyweight Championship belt. So there's that. Uh, it's the basic WCW uh, World Championship belt that you would get with regular figures. Uh, they got the red NWO spray painted on it there, so that's pretty cool. And he's got swappable hands. He comes with the NWO Too Sweet signal. Throwing it up. There you go. You can see it there. So he's got these swappable hands. They're both the same there with the black fingerless gloves on both of them. And then the figure himself, let's see. So he comes with the NWO uh, bandana, as you can see there. Give you a little bit better focus here, all right. So he's got the red and white NWO there, red NWO and white uh, design there, and then the white and black on the back, actually, where it comes down the back of his head there. He's got, let's see, he's got the removable sunglasses as well. Take those off for now. Just a white pair of sunglasses. And there you can see the face sculpt a lot better. 
He's got that mean smug look. This is a cloth goods t-shirt, so that is great. He does also come with the Hollywood weight belt. So he's wearing the white Hollywood weight belt. And you can see the design on his pants going all around. It's that white and black like tie-dye material. And then on the bottom, he's got the white boots with the red and black NWO logo on them. Uh, this is exactly how he was decked out uh, during his uh, NWO Elite run. So they got the paint scale um, pretty accurate there. Um, actually, I have the WCW Toy Biz version, and I'll show you that real quick. So there he is next to the WCW Toy Biz version, which uh, the year on this should be, let me see here, right around like that 2000, 1999. So yeah, 1999 was this Toy Biz version, which is like right in that era. So you can see here, they've got the sculpt, they've got the, uh, look, you can see the the boots are the same pretty much. The um, He's got red flames on this one though. Um, but the tie-dye pants, um, the black shirt with the red NWO on it, and he's got that same, pretty much that same exact bandana as he has there. He also has here on the, on the Toy Biz version. So, and like I said, the Toy Biz version um, was in 1999, so that was pretty much right at the height of when that was happening. So that's, that's the accurate figure. So it did a great job uh, making this figure. So good job, good job Mattel Ringside Collectibles. Um, like I said, I just got mine in now. This was a pre-order, just came in today. Very happy to have the Hulkster, another version of the Hulkster uh, in the collection. So order yours, Ringside Collectibles. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's today's video. NWO, Wolfpack, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Throw it up for us because we are too sweet. And it's been too sweet that you've been here in the multiverse with me, Mike, today. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. To those of you who have, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.